you know, uh, towards Zimbabwe's legend. He is one of the pioneers of the arts industry in Zimbabwe and has worked so, with so many uh, talented people. And through, um, you know, poetry, he has traveled to, uh, world, uh, to the world, raising Zimbabwe's flag high. The Senzenina hit maker. I am in the company of greatest uh, greatness, Babo Abetnyati, all the way from Gwanda. Uh, I cannot wait, you know, to have a conversation with this uh, cultural icon on his upbringing, the journey in poetry and also music and so forth. So, very pan about the DJ DJ Kurukura na war when the war will pain. Si alila muki ya muki ela akusho yetu on the spot, Baba Nyati. <laughs> okay, just to remind our listeners that, that uh, we are live on Facebook. Uh, talking to Babu Nyati is here with us. He's in studio live on Star FM. So, how are you surviving this weather, Babu Nyati? Hey, ah, uh, no, this this reminds me of uh, the time I, I was in Denmark in yeah. 1994. 94? Uh, I nearly died because <laughs> I went in summer. Yeah. And then one day, uh, it moved st- Straight into autumn, and autumn became so cold Yay. before even winter. Hey. And a, a, a guy from Senegal came up to me, uh-huh. and we, we were black together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he came up to me and said, my brother, yeah. here you die. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, then he accompanied me to a shop, Yeah. Uh, and I, I bought a, a jacket, mm-hmm. you know, those big ones. He yes. said, no, that's not enough. <laughs> you need... Uh, a, a t-shirt and a t-shirt and a t-shirt and a sweater <laughs> and then and then that. Okay. So <laughs> I do it. Sir. So many clothes. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. But well, do you think you will ever surpass um, the Sinzenina song? I think I've done so. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I think I've done so. I, I know people love Senzenina mm-hmm. and wherever I go, that song haunts me. Yeah, <laughs> very true, very yeah, true. Because everybody thinks I, I can't go beyond that. But uh-huh. I think in the song, My Daughter, which mm-hmm. I did with Derek Mpofu, yeah. I, I just nearly hit it. Oh, uh, People love it so uh-huh. much. I mean, people love the book. Yes. My daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the song itself, My Daughter. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Baba, I, I know uh, your poetry is accompanied by music. Is it what they call sung poetry? Yes. You know, there are so many names to it. Mm. But, you know, Dala, they used to say dub poetry. Uh, others say spoken word. Mm-hmm. Others say exactly what you have said. Yes. Sung poetry. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, so yeah, but whatever you name it, mm. it is exactly that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very true. And uh, you're one of the most talented, uh, and I would like to believe, uh, pioneers of uh, poetry in Zimbabwe. Do you agree with me? Yes, uh, partly. Um, I mean, don't forget there is my twin brother called Chirikure Chirikure. Yes, yes, We call yes. each other Twin brother. <laughs> Sometimes twin brother. when we are drunk, we say twin sister. <laughs> <laughs> twin <laughs> sisters. We're friends, so we make jokes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you have a, a few guys who, mm-hmm. who, 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 you know, um, we part of the pioneering mm-hmm. squad, as yes. it were. But I, I think, yeah, I'm one of them. Right. Yeah. Sure. And before we dive into your career, let's go back in the uh, let's go back in time and see how it all started, Baba Nyati. Yeah. You know, um, it, well, it's a long story. Mm-hmm. You know, when you, when you are relatively younger and you take your dogs out uh, hunting for umvunda, mm. umvunda, you know umvunda? Yes. Tsuro. Tsuro. <laughs> <laughs> and when you bring Tsuro or Ingrina or Impuns, you know, mm-hmm. those, those uh, animals yeah. uh, uh, from the bush. Yes. And you bring that to your mother and she showers you with your, uh, your clan names, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, it's M. Luli, you know, like Enyati, M. Luli, Mareperepe Adi Komu, you know, Bajana Mabau Simela. You know, it starts from there. Yes. You know, it's, yes. It starts yes. from that, <laughs> you know. Um, and those are the formative stages. Mm-hmm. You begin to enjoy that uh, when you are being showered by either your grandmother or your mother 
for bringing Umvundla home. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. And you really enjoy that, and it begins to get into you. Mm-hmm. But also, of course, um, at school, uh, later on, I started uh, um, works, particularly in Develle works by Mayford Svanda and Davesil Tesco, Komtanda Zondemangwenya. Mm-hmm. But later on, of course, uh, William Shakespeare, uh, Wordsworth, uh, you know, others, many, many of these writers, Dambu Zomarechera, Chenjirai Ove, Musae Murazimunya, and so on and so forth. And uh, then I, I began to enjoy, I started really fusing the traditional and the modern in some way. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, you did so very well. And yes. uh, you were born in the, uh, and bred in Gwanda, in, uh, in a family of 23, uh, you being yeah. the first born. I think we are about 23. 23, yeah. yeah. Actually, no, I'm not the first born. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm my mother's first born. You're okay. I'm not my father's first born. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... In my mother's, like from my mother, there are 10 of us. Okay. All of us are there. I'm the first born and all of us are there. Oh, wow. There are 10 of us, six <laughs> boys... Four girls. Four girls. Wow, uh, wow, that's and, awesome. Yeah. And so, how are but your... I have my other brothers uh-huh. and sisters... Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, from my father. Yeah. Yeah. And how was your upbringing? Eh, wonderful. I never liked school at all. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's for sure. Yeah. You ask my mother, ask neighbors mm-hmm. and relatives, they tell you, ah, <laughs> this animal. <laughs> he never loved school. Yeah. I used to run away. Uh-huh. But I used to look after, my father was a businessman. Mm-hmm. You know, the kind of business where you buy goats in the village yes. and you sell them in the city. Mm. Uh, it's called Amazongo. Mm-hmm. And uh, so um, I, I looked after uh, uh, those goats. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's partly why I hated school because sometimes <laughs> I would be asked to look after those goats. And <laughs> by the time I go to school, uh, maybe I miss a day uh-huh. in a week or two yeah, days yeah. in a week. Mm-hmm. And then by the time I get to school, others are already way ahead. Oh. But also there was a, there is a river called mm-hmm. Gafusi. Yeah. Uh, Gafusi uh, that I needed to cross. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a, a, a cousin brother called Mishek. Mm-hmm. So we needed to cross. But sometimes the river would be full mm. and for a day or two and we miss school. And then I hated being so behind mm-hmm. in school, you know. And as a result, I didn't quite enjoy school yeah. at an early age. And also remember, um, where I come from, I never really saw a role model mm. uh, coming from my village. Yes, proper yes. Proper close village. Of course, we had uh, 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 Dr. Bennett Nyati, mm-hmm. uh, Professor Phineas Makurani, but mm-hmm. they were a bit far off. Um, from the surrounding, there was no role model. My yeah. role models were my brother, my 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 cousins, mm-hmm. my big brothers who mm-hmm. went to South Africa, to Wenela, uh, Ekoli, to work in gold mines. Mm-hmm. And that was my dream. I enjoyed that. You wanted to go to South <laughs> Africa. I actually wanted to do that. <laughs> so I understand, but, uh, you know, uh, Babinati, yeah. uh, that your father had uh, two wives, like we said. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't yes, that my inspire... mothers are there. Exactly. Yeah, are didn't there that right inspire now. you to to get into, you know, polygamy as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. Nina, I am the UN Women Gender <laughs> Champion. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, did you know that? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I am the UN yeah, Women sure. Gender Champion. So, mm-hmm. as a result, if I do that, uh, yeah. I suppose my role uh, might uh, question me. <laughs> you know? So, actually, uh, what you're saying is that uh, you can't be in a polygamous marriage because you are a champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're not, you're going to maybe have, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> two or more wives. <laughs> No, you know what? That we will discuss uh, just outside. Yeah, I will take no, that as an answer as well. No. <laughs> but yes, yes. Yeah, uh, we are live on Facebook. I started from sounding good all the time. I'm talking to Ababa Albert Nyati. You know, he's such a legend. He's in studio with me right now. So, uh, in general, how do you view polygamy? Is it uh, good or bad? Uh, it's it's a difficult uh, exercise, but mm-hmm. I can understand why um, our elders did that mm-hmm. way back in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't really fault them. Yeah. Uh, but I think um, in the life we live, 
today, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's difficult. Yeah, sure. It's very difficult for children. You know, you have to take these kids to school mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. But it's also difficult for, for women. Mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult for wives, Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. You grew up heading your father's livestock uh, from Keto to Gold. Uh, but in an interview uh, you did uh, with uh, the Herald back in 2013, yeah. you mentioned that at one point you slept in a goat pen. You know, how far <laughs> true is that? Uh, not once. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no, Several no, no. times? Yeah, a few times. Why? You know, when you, you are heading... The, you are heading goats mm. uh, or cattle, particularly goats. Mm. You know the goats that my father had bought from mm -hmm. uh, uh, from the village yeah. to sell in the city. And and then you 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 sleep, uh, you doze off while looking after them, <laughs> and, they, and 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 they disappear, <laughs> and you don't know really what to do next. Yes. So you also disappear, mm. and you can't go to your to your, obviously I was putting up. Uh, in the kitchen yes. so i would just have to i had to find a way of surviving <laughs> <laughs> so you better sleep in that god bed oh yes <laughs> it was nice though i mean i i to be honest with you yeah let me tell you the truth ah uh -huh. uh, putting on shoes was a luxury <laughs> really was something called a manya tail a manya tail yeah yeah you should not say manya hey, hey. Mm -hmm. oh yes yeah and also you know the that cloth mm. you put uh, and mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, you know, you don't, you don't really care about that. Yes. You really, uh, you know, you yeah. have to, 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 to have a taste of it when you are grown. Yeah, really, you know that yeah. kind of thing. I understand. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was the, the, the that was the time. It was fun though. Mm -hmm. uh, we enjoyed it, uh, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, growing up, you never liked school, like you said earlier. Yeah. Would you, I mean, uh, would get uh, a hiding for it? Sometimes, uh, what was your reason for not wanting to go to school? Was it because you enjoyed heading cattle so much uh, mm. that you headed school? No, no. Uh, as I indicated, most of the time I found myself behind because I had to look after, mm -hmm. uh, you know, goats. I found myself behind, mm -hmm. and and uh, you would get really embarrassed if you were. Uh, asked a question and others knew the answer and mm. did not. Yeah, you know yeah. that kind of thing. And, yes, and, yes. Um, yeah. Feels bad. <clears throat> Eventually, that made me hate school. Mm. And uh, yeah, but later on, I I thought, look, this is important, and and I went on with it. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, very interesting. I at Mpumelelo Primary School mm -hmm. in Mulawa, I became head boy, and then at Msiteli Secondary School. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 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 Bulawayo, mm -hmm. I was head boy for a total of three years. Wow! Junior head boy, form uh -huh. two, form three, form four. Yes. And then in Matopo High School, I was head boy. Wow! And then at the University of Zimbabwe, I became a sub warden. I didn't want to get into SRC. <laughs> but, but, but but they saw a leader in you, you know. They saw yeah. in a, a, a leader <laughs> in you. But uh, I want to ask you something. Uh, what made you think that people who worked um, uh, in Egoli? Uh, were the most successful ones. Yeah, because that was my world. Mm -hmm. My whole world bordered around um, my... I had never I had never been out of my village. Mm -hmm. I, as a relatively younger person, I had grown up yeah. uh, to know that these are my role models. Mm -hmm. I had never seen... And even, even the teachers who, who taught us came from outside mm -hmm. our area. Yeah, They came from... Farof, Lupane, mm -hmm. Cholocho. We never, I never saw anybody from Ekaya, mm. e Egafusi, who had been to school and yes. had been a success. Yeah, yeah. I, those who were successful for me at the time mm. were Oputivami from Ekoli. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 you know, they would go down, bring a, a radio called Galaxy. <laughs> after a year, you know, Galaxy. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And then they would bring a bicycle. You know, from a goal, from a goal, <laughs> and buy you know, buy a table with yeah. four chairs or six uh -huh. chairs, and buy a few goats and uh, maybe a cow uh -huh. or maybe two donkeys. Mm. You know, donkeys are very useful yeah. in terms of labor. It's very true. So the next thing is marriage. Mm. That was, that was the life. It put us around that. So were you at some point, you know, tempted uh, to run away from heading livestock to goal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, every everyone in the area actually, <laughs> virtually. I think that was our dream. Yeah. 
<laughs> but you know what? Uh, eventually, you realize that school is important. And Great. And, and you, you run with it. But magazo ende, magazo budi re kuenda ku egole some boy. No, never. Uh, you wrote uh, your grade seven at the age of 19 years. Yes. Muchinyora grade seven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I came across this, I was shocked. Did you at <laughs> one point dropped out of school or what happened? Remember, um, uh, during the, in 1980, mm. you had people who, uh, who were grown up and were, we're studying because at some point schools had to close mm. because of the war. The war, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's you know it's many years mm -hmm. of uh, staying uh, out of school yeah. and then suddenly mm -hmm. 1980 comes, uh, 81 mm -hmm. and so on and so forth and people begin to uh, troop mm. towards school and and that's it. You have seen the light and, yeah. and that's that's it. And uh, fast forward, you you advanced your your education, Babinyati. And studied arts at the University of Zimbabwe. Uh, I now that. that you are older, yes. how do you view education? And why did you I mean even cho <laughs> choose to uh, choose to pursue? My friend, let me tell you a secret you don't know, and mm. many don't know, mm. and I'm revealing it today. Yeah, I'm a student at, right now at the MSU. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm I'm studying music, uh, and my uh, thesis. The, the title of my thesis is intersections of fame and fortune wow the socio-economic reality of the zimbabwean music mm -hmm, industry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. intersections of fame and fortune yeah the socio-economic reality of the zimbabwean music industry and i am saying i'm studying why some popular musicians mm -hmm. are poor you're you know, studying why? why some popular musicians are, are poor. poor or have died poor why so far why uh, well, I'll be submitting my thesis um, in the next uh, two weeks yeah. uh, for examination mm -hmm. and, uh, and and so on and so forth. Yeah, there's, there's lots. I've been talking to musicians, mm -hmm. quite a number of them. Yeah, um, Mono Mukundu, uh, Jay's Maravini, mm -hmm. quite a number. You know, Sandra and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. Um, in my uh, my research uh, uh, or investigation, if you want to call it that way, mm -hmm. I discovered that uh, well, it's a number, a plethora of challenges mm. in the in the in the music industry. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, you have some who made money, mm -hmm. and maybe management of it yes. would have been difficult. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have some who, uh, you know, public perception is that because you are on television, you yes. must be making money. Mm. Very right? true. Very true. Now, uh, sometimes I'm on because I would have borrowed. A limousine from mm -hmm. from a Lamborghini, mm -hmm. let's say, from my uncle mm -hmm. or a friend. Yeah, uh, even borrowed clothes from a friend, or mm -hmm. and and asked to use my uncle's mansion in in uh, in uh, Benside or in Borodale. Yeah, and I f do do my video. You know, you have seen those videos. Yes, very <clears> true. <throat> and with with girls around and so on and mm. so forth. Mm. And it's kind of kind of American style and. Everybody, everybody <laughs> thinks, oh, wow. And then the next thing they see me uh, uh, trying to get into Zubko, public <laughs> transport and legs in the air. We're trying to push. And, Yo. like, and, you know, and they're like, no, no, it can't be him. Exactly. That one is rich. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and so on and so forth. So it's a number of things. It's, mm -hmm. it's very painful. Uh, I, I've seen that uh, in my, my, some of the findings mm -hmm. are that most of us, do not have medical aid or mm. health insurance the, the, or the, life the, assurance. The artists. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. If, if we get sick, sometimes this mm. is why then you find that we uh, have to call for public assistance. Mm. You have seen those things. Yeah, uh, very true, very true. Uh, we do not have uh, a softer carpet on which to fall mm -hmm. during hard times. Yeah. You know, music uh, is like... Um, like milk, mm -hmm. that's how Derek Mpofu put it. Yeah. Uh, uh, today you are fresh, uh, tomorrow you are sour, mm. <laughs> and so on and so forth. In other words, um, well, it's it's never the same. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the sun does not shine every day. Mm -hmm. If you think of uh, musicians from the past up to now, yeah, um, things keep on changing. There's there are m new genres that keep on keep popping up and yeah. so on and so forth yes. and new 
names, new stars that keep on coming. So you look back and say, why are we, why are we not like uh, those that we have seen mm -hmm. in other countries like, uh, for instance, uh, Europe and America and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So, but it's, it's a lot. I've been studying that. Yeah. 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 And uh, there's and, something uh, in, interesting, Baba Nyati, yeah. that I came across. Uh, it only um, in the year uh, 1975. Mm -hmm. When you discovered that uh, there is the Shona tribe, how so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where I grew up, uh, we were listening to uh, there were the radio stations, Ekwanda, uh Ekayale, -huh. uh, with South Africa and Botswana. Yeah, and uh, 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 we spoke uh, Ndebele and Sutu, mm -hmm. and uh, ha, yeah, around 1975. So there was an old woman who, who came. There were these guys who were, were they were soldiers actually. Mm, yeah. Uh, came around the area and there's a uh, an old woman who then said, Ah, Nakama <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean for the first time then I heard the language. Yes. And, and I, oh ah, okay. That's okay. yeah, yeah. So I grew up pretty much listening to uh radio. South Africa yes. and 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 Botswana. Nice. And yeah. uh, you know, uh back in the day, should we yeah. say people lagged exposure to that extent? Y yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh even in 1980, there are some corners where you wouldn't get uh, Zimbabwean radio stations, mm -hmm. but I'm sure now it's you know, covering. So what it means is that information is important. Yeah. Yeah. Through Broadcasters, broadcasters yeah, 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 very, sure, very true. Sure, and sure, also now sure. social media and uh, uh, you know other television stations. Oh, now, uh, but I think now it's a bit too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> too much it's a bit too much. Too much. You may find that. You, do you have kids, Ola? Yeah, sure. You may find that they know things better than you. <laughs> very but, true. You know when, yeah. when when my phone when when I I have problems with my phone, uh -huh. you know, some things, some programs, I just give to them and in. In no time, they are yeah, done. Yeah, they're done. It. Yeah, very true. Yeah, yeah, technology yeah. wise, you know, they are very exposed to that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it was in uh, in uh, uni when you featured uh, in a play called Mandela: The Spirit of No Surrender. What was the play about, and uh, how was it received? Yeah. Uh, well, um, this play was um, directed by uh, Dr. Robert McLaren, who mm -hmm. was my lecturer then, because part of my studies included drama mm -hmm. or theater. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and and unfortunately, we lost uh, last week. We lost Professor Misere Muko, oh. who was playing the role of uh, Winnie Mandela. Oh, so sad. Um, may his soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing the lead role of Nelson Mandela, and um, um, it was done by Zambugo Izibugo. So mm -hmm. you had guys like Titus Moetsabi and others, um, Nicholas Mkaronda, who were involved in the production. And we, it was officially launched at Girls High School by Oba mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, who was vice president. Then yeah, the, the late. late. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I remember standing next to him, mm -hmm. and my hair was gray because I had to put baby <laughs> powder. Yeah. Uh, we, we did the play, and, and when we launched it, Mandela had mm -hmm. just come out wow. of, of prison. So we had to change the mm -hmm. ending. Oh. Yeah, so I had been made to study Mandela as a as a young person in mm -hmm. 1963 during yeah. the Rivonia trial. Yes. So we performed uh, 10 times uh, at Girls High School and then many times at the UZ. Then we went to Mtare, mm -hmm. full house. I mean, like sold out. We went to Masungo, wow. sold wow. out. Wow. Uh, we went to Kweru, sold out. Mm -hmm. Hulawa is sold out. Oh. And let me do, uh, can I uh, do one of the parts that I can yes, remember? Yes, sure. This is Nelson Mandela after he had been... Uh, 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 released? No, no, no. Um, uh, he had been charged and sentenced, sentenced. to life imprisonment. Mm. And uh, the judge had just said, Mersti Mandela, what have you to say before we send you off to jail? And this is what he said. Mm. I have fought against white domination and I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunity. It is an ideal that I hope to live for and to achieve, but if need be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Wow. 
Wow, 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 Mdaraga. Madon, don't you imagine Mdara Mandela was a bajao? You know, I actually like... met him later on. Oh, yeah. And Such how did a he... warm old man? Wow. Yeah. How did you feel? Maybe did you know, or even I go on read that uh, the movie. The, 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 no, we, we, it was a musical. Musical, uh, yeah. Live on stage, but unfortunately we didn't record it. Oh. Um, I met him uh, uh, 1996. 96, yeah. Uh, when he came to Zimbabwe mm -hmm. to, to, to officially open or launch his, mm -hmm. the, the Nelson Mandela uh, Avenue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand uh, you are a poet, a musician, actor, writer. Yes. But at what point did you decide you want to take this, you know, seriously? Ah, yeah. Well, um, remember, I once upon a time worked, uh, when I finished university in, in, uh, uh, in 1990, 91, mm -hmm. I then joined the National Arts Council, mm -hmm. uh, worked as publications and information officer. And then in 1997, mm -hmm. I, well, I became the acting director of the Arts Council mm -hmm. uh, and acted for about two years. And then in 1997, I quit my job mm -hmm. in favor of uh, travel. Okay. So uh, since I quit my job, I've been traveling quite a <laughs> lot, spending, <coughs> would spend about, with the band in Bong, would spend mm -hmm. about three months based in the United Kingdom, wow. but then traveling to different countries. Uh -huh. Like you, you you rent an apartment or uh, in, two in, apartments. In the UK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You rent for three months and then you 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 you, you travel to various parts mm -hmm. of, of the United Kingdom, yeah. Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, uh, Wales, and then Belgium mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So we would we would do that. We we spent uh, three months away and we come back mm. uh, and so on and so forth we yeah, it was very good it's been very good yeah, yeah. and uh, let's talk about the project of uh, Senzenina that was done years ago with the likes of uh, uh, Bob Jay's Marabini and uh, Muzi Mange Mm -hmm. But the writing uh, of the song, I can't remember. I wrote it when Chris Honey was shot dead. Mm -hmm. Chris Honey was one of the leaders of the African National Congress. Okay. And he's believed to be the probably the second most popular most popular uh, leader mm -hmm. in the African National Congress okay. at the time. Mm -hmm. Remember, Zimbabwe was free and uh, we were helping South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, helping to free South Africa, I think, as Sadak. So, mm -hmm. uh, Chris Honey had spent so many years in exile, and then um, uh, there was ceasefire, and he went to South Africa mm -hmm. uh, in preparation of uh, the votes, for the votes, mm -hmm. and, and talks, of course. And then while he was jogging, he was shot dead, mm. and four bullets hit him. Yo, yo. I'm lucky to have met the wife called Limpo Hani. Mm -hmm. I met her in uh, the Netherlands. Yes. And actually, the organizers who had invited me there asked if I could perform mm -hmm. for her at some point, which wow. I did. Mm. But anyway, um, when I, when, when Chris Hani was shot dead, I imagined the many fighters many people who had died fighting for their own freedom and mm -hmm. that's how I started writing. I wrote that poem mm -hmm. and that song that same day. But oh. of course you keep on you keep on changing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I remember that uh, in Shona we say uh, uh, I, I, was, I knew what I was doing. So <laughs> this guy, I, I said that that's a eco in Shona. Oh, and yeah. this guy said no, no. You say that that's a eco. <laughs> then I said my friend, my Shona may be poor but I I, I mean that that's <laughs> that a that's not a <laughs> <laughs> so, if I, so we kept on working on it and uh, eventually it, yes. came, uh, it became what it became. Oh. And uh, I Prudence Katomeni mm -hmm. Bofana, Bofana yeah. actually is the one who did the singing of the song. And yeah, there's so much. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and then yeah. the, the yeah. lady, the little one who was cr crying, mm -hmm. <laughs> the crying girl, yeah. Naomi Makwenda, wow. uh, whose mother is Joyce Makwenda, the writer uh -huh. and, and, and film producer. 
uh, was a little girl. She was grade six at uh, Alfred Bate. Mm -hmm. uh, so by the time we were now recording the video, uh, Naomi, I, I mean, Prudence was busy writing exams. Mm -hmm. And I was about two days before leaving the country for yeah. Denmark. I, yeah. 94, I spent about, uh, yeah, I spent six months in, in, Denmark. in Denmark. So I had to romp in Naomi. Mm -hmm. uh, to save prudence because she was busy writing oh, exams. Yes, yes. Um, but uh, yeah, it has that song has stars. Some stars did not necessarily sing. They appeared mm. on the video, like Jez Maravini. Yes, Muzi, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of Tombo Fara mm -hmm. uh, did the singing. Uh, you had Mateo. Uh, you had. Um, um, hey, there are many. So would you agree with me when I say the song changed your life for the better? It did, and I'll tell you why. Mm. I spent when the song became popular, I was away in Denmark. Mm. And when I came back, I mean, of course, the office, each time I found the office at the National Arts Council, because mm -hmm. I was still with the Arts Council, mm -hmm. each time I found or they were right, they used to write me letters, you know, post through the post yeah they they told me look you don't know how popular you are mm. in zimbabwe now yeah. and I, I, yeah. I didn't believe it because when i left i was only popular at college <laughs> among you know <laughs> students <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so yeah it was, it surprised me that when i came back and i was at the airport uh -huh. people were looking at me <laughs> and i wondered what i had done yeah you know, until somebody then came up to me and mm -hmm. told me, ah, you did that song. Then yeah, that's, yeah. I realized why they were, they mm, were looking at me. Yeah. yeah. And I believe through the song, Senzenina, uh, you got the opportunity to travel to Denmark where you did an internship for six months, soon after the release of the song. How was the experience? Ah, living in Denmark was amazing. Mm. I wrote poetry about uh, the life, uh, the way of life in Denmark. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, how the Danish people... Uh, you know, the, because the program was that I write about them, mm -hmm. how they behave, oh, yeah. uh, how they, you know, because we are different. Mm -hmm. it, it was the first European country that I ever visited. Mm, yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed my stay there. Uh, and I, I wrote some poems about how they, mm -hmm. they, they behaved. And I, I, I was opposed to the idea of uh, the old people's homes. Mm -hmm. And I said, ah, you people in Denmark, you're putting people in a crawl. Yeah. <clears throat> in Zimbabwe, we stay with our grandmothers and mm -hmm. grandfathers mm -hmm. until they leave us. <laughs> you people just uh, throw them away, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned that uh, in 1996, that's when you uh, met uh, um, uh, former South African uh, uh, president, the later uh, Baban Mandela. Yeah. Um, how did it feel, you know, performing for someone uh, that was uh, and still is respected like that? Uh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I really felt honored uh, to do that. Mm -hmm. But you know that later on, I then got invited to the SADC 30th anniversary mm -hmm. in Vindok, and I performed for heads of state from mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the entire SADC. Wow. Uh, there were, there were, uh, there was, I remember Rupia Banda, mm -hmm. I remember I remember Mswati, mm. Zuma, mm -hmm. um, Hall of Sadak. I remember, what was his name, uh, from DRC, uh, Kabila. Kabila, yes. Yeah, and, and they really enjoyed mm. the performance, yeah. Yeah, I've done that. But also, you know, um, in, in 2005, mm -hmm. I was invited by Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea? Yes. Uh, in England? Yes. Wow. Uh, to work with um, children. Mm hmm in uh, two towns within London mm. City, uh, in Paddington and Westminster, mm -hmm. uh, uh, junior libraries, mm -hmm. uh, creating poetry against racism in mm -hmm. football. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I worked with kids, primary school kids, yeah. um, creating that poetry. And I remember... Um, poem that resulted in mm -hmm. that was called Fans and Fools. Mm. So the fans are those who, who, who cheer at the color of the jersey. Mm -hmm. Fools are those who cheer <laughs> at the color of the skin. You know that kind of thing. Oh, that's interesting. So I went to <laughs> what's that? Uh, um, I went to the FA headquarters mm -hmm. in Soho Square. Yeah. 
uh, to do a performance. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I went to Stamford Bridge mm -hmm. where Chelsea was playing Bolton. So I was with Didier Drogba. Mm -hmm. I was with uh, Frank Lampard. Rubbing shoulders with the legends. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Lampard, John yeah, Terry. Yeah. And then I was with uh, Okocha mm -hmm. because Okocha was playing for Bolton. So yeah, JJ yeah, Okocha. Yeah, yeah. So mm. before their match, I, I, I appeared with the children I mm -hmm. was working with on stage, oh. performing and carrying mm -hmm. a banner saying, Stop racism out oh, of football. Oh, nice. And this was supported by a, a magazine called, uh, what was it? Uh, is it Stop It or something? Mm. Um, and then Chelsea Football Club and the and w Paddington and Westminster yes. libraries. Yeah. What an amazing, you know, yeah. uh, experience. Yeah. Um, you know, it is the it is the same year that you formed a group called uh, Imbong. Is it still a uh, functional? Uh, Imbong was formed much earlier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Imbong is functional, but uh, we get it's we rarely perform in in clubs. Mm -hmm. We used to perform in clubs yeah. quite a lot, mm -hmm. um, but now um, we do mainly private functions. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, remember, I have had a, a program called uh, ENTS, mm -hmm. which is uh, called ENTS stands for Albert Nyati Talent Search. Oh, ENTS. Oh, yes. Right. But yes. it started in 1998 mm -hmm. as Imbongi Talent Search. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is where you find uh, EAS are coming from. Oh, which, yeah, it was then called um, um, Popoma High School Drama mm -hmm. Club. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, Sandra, people like Sandra, and mm -hmm. Dele, you yes. have, um, quite a, a lot. You have Charles Chipanga, you know, the guy they who they were on that in that group. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, they yeah. I used to have uh, it, it was a, a talent search program mm -hmm. where, in fact, it, well, during school holidays, mm -hmm. uh. I used to, like the April one and mm -hmm. the August one, yes. kids came up to the National Sports Stadium mm -hmm. from across the country, including, oh, yeah. uh, you know, Manex, mm -hmm. the guy who does reggae. Yes, Manex, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you know, Lazity mm -hmm. and others. You know, there's one called Ishe and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. You mm -hmm. know, um, Iasa or Sandra and so on and so forth used to come down during school holidays mm -hmm. and would train them. And then in Bulawayo and Popoma, mm -hmm. we had, uh, at Popoma High School, we had um, a, a program mm -hmm. uh, which was competitive. Kids would compete. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one co which, which, is, uh, b which then became ends, where school children would compete in various artistic expressions mm. or forms. Mm. They would, uh, you, first you have uh, poetry, performed poetry. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, singing, in most cases, solo mm -hmm. or duet, and sometimes choir. Then you had um, dance, mm -hmm. and, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And um, we've got about, about 12 minutes to go. So I'll try by all means to give you all the questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you've given uh, us the best of the best poems ever, yeah. and we appreciate you for that. You know, yeah. from your collection, do you have a favorite one? And which one is that? Uh, my daughter. My daughter. <laughs> Why my daughter? <laughs> what yeah, inspires you to? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 you have one daughter? Yeah. Oh, and how many sons? Uh, two. Two least, sons? Yeah. Ah, yeah. nice, lovely. And what inspires you to come up with such, uh, you know, creativity? Well, uh, what normally inspires an artist, with, well, like me, would be things that surround you, things that you come across, things that you experience, mm -hmm. um, you know, around you. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh, yeah, th those are things that, 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 you know, anything that that you experience mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tends to inspire you. Oh. But you know what, Ola? Mm -hmm. You know I'm the chairman of Zimbabwe Music Rights Association. E yes. So I was hoping I would throw in a, a word or two, mm -hmm. at least uh, yeah. a, a popularly known as Zimura, mm -hmm. Zimbabwe Music Rights Association. Yeah. I do know, Ola, that uh, there have been issues... Um, um, especially lately, mm -hmm. uh, talking about um, uh, the challenges mm -hmm. uh, that we are facing uh, at the moment, mm -hmm. I, I, it's, it's really, I'm, I'm very disappointed and mm -hmm. very heartbroken yeah. to imagine that um, you have people who make accusations uh, that are unfounded. Mm -hmm. And 
this is where my heart is right now. Yeah. I'm I'm like really seriously, absolutely, utterly, totally disappointed. Mm, why? I, I, it is widely reported that uh, some board members from Zimura, you mm. know, accused you for misusing mm, uh, some mm, funds. How mm, far true is this? Yeah, it's a lie. Mm. It's a total lie. Mm. Actually, it's people who want to take over, mm -hmm. and they can take over if they want. Mm -hmm. um, it's very unfortunate that as I speak to you right mm -hmm. now, I managed with the board to mm -hmm. acquire a piece of land mm -hmm. which is 5,000 square meters wow. in Bulawayo mm -hmm. in order to have a music mm -hmm. center uh, that uh, caters uh, for all in mm -hmm. the arts business mm -hmm. where you have a boarding facility so that artists coming from other parts of the country like Harare going mm. to Bulawayo have some way to stay overnight mm -hmm. as they do their works. They have some way to rehearse there, there is um, a garden, there is, you know, there is um, a rehearsal space and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. The same thing right now, I'm talking to the Harare City Council, mm -hmm. but we started with Harare for yeah. a long time mm -hmm. and we are not getting any good answers from mm -hmm. different mayors that we've had. But currently, we're talking to the City Council and yeah. they are really forthcoming. Mm. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the, we looking into the future mm -hmm. more than just us today mm -hmm. we're looking forward and uh, so um how do you if you are a board mm -hmm. how do you because as a board you get elected by the uh what do you call it uh, the agm yeah annual general meeting which mm -hmm. is membership they elect you and say guys we want you to lead us and uh, find a way of improving us mm -hmm. or improving the whole uh, the whole setup yeah and then uh, when you get there, when you are elected, you then uh, find somebody with a legal background mm. who will then help you. So you have a board of eight, right? And then the board then says, okay, guys, we need to have someone, to, you know, chairing us and leading the way. Mm. So and that's your structure, you. yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and so on and so forth. And then you employ the head of the secretariat, mm -hmm. You, you employ the head of the secretariat. Sometimes this one would be called um, CEO. Mm -hmm. In some cases, they say executive director. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a matter of semantics. Yeah. But you get that person to then lead in terms of administration. Yes. Right? And how do you, even as a board member or even as a chairperson, how do you go to, to the CEO and say, give me money? You she, can't even do she that. She will ask you to... Ah, Mr. So Chairman, why are they accusing? For? So why no, are you uh, are they accusing you now if you, if you had no access to the funds? Yeah, no, it's 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 all uh, uh, living in a it's it's a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 they they are manufacturing that mm. because they want to lead. That's the thing, and uh, I. I, I I did not choose myself to be the chair, <laughs> to be the chair. or to go on the board because mm -hmm. people voted. Yeah. So it's we will we will see. I think that um, it's 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 unfortunate because it's it, it's destroying the good work mm -hmm. that uh, has been done, and it's not destroying uh, me per se. It's mm -hmm. destroying the brand Zimura. Zimura. And. Uh, I don't know what our children will do mm -hmm. because this is, we think we are doing all this for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's quite sad, uh, you know, and uh, what I heard from you, uh, fabrications and whatnot. Absolutely fabricated. Mm -hmm. virtually everything. But in, in English, there's a saying called, uh, you know, there's no smoke without fire. Probably there's something... Uh, or maybe there are some disgruntled, you know, people yeah. uh, within the, yeah, the same some, system. Some of those guys lost ele in elections, mm -hmm. in previous elections, and mm -hmm. that's what they are fighting. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate. You know that if you play a game with a pig, mm -hmm. you know, me, me, you know, if you say, oh, okay, pig, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ngulube, mm -hmm. let's 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 roll in the mud. Yeah. The one who will be happiest is the pig at the end of the day. <laughs> and I have a theory that if you mix milk yeah. and, 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 and uh, um, cream, so, so, yeah. cream, mm -hmm. cream yeah? Yeah. milk and cream, mm -hmm. you shake, mm -hmm. you shake, and then you let, uh, let it lie low for some time, mm -hmm. 
cream will always come up. Yeah. So yeah. it's unfortunate. We will see. Uh, we would say nanka <laughs> amesho amaziso ayang it. Yeah. Here we have the eyes to mm-hmm. see. We will see. Because, because, yeah, because look, we have we have laws in this country. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. are saying let the laws take mm-hmm. their gone. their course. All right. So yeah. we will talk about that uh, as well. <laughs> We've got about four minutes to go, but um, right. you know, in those four minutes, I've got three questions, and I want you to do a poem for us. Uh, because a lot of people have been uh, asking to all that uh, uh, a poem from Baba Nyati. Uh, so I'm going to give you that opportunity. So Which that you one? Um, <laughs> my daughter, I think that's the most famous one. Okay. But uh, do you think poet is uh, is even taken serious in our country? Has it been given enough credit over the years? Well, uh, I think we 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 have uh, tried our best to ensure that it's recognized mm-hmm. and it's it's indeed recognized. Yeah, that's why uh, Nama uh, gives out something called spoken word, spoken which word. Is poetry, mm-hmm. and and and, uh, and comedy. Mm-hmm. You know, like stand up comedy. Yeah. And, yeah, it's. Yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's getting recognized. And comparing when you started in the arts industry before the advent of uh, technology, how was it like? Ah, uh, it 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 was it was difficult. Mm-hmm. I think recording you had to rehearse thoroughly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it, yeah, it made us uh, work a lot harder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which days do you love most? Is uh, is, is before digitalization or now? Ah, I think for some funny reason before digitalization. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> for some, I don't know why, but I, I still feel people. You, if you listen today, if uh-huh. you listen to the recording by Love Mama Jaivan. Yes. You listen to uh, Wells Fargo. Yeah. I'm talking of those that you don't even know. No, yeah. You listen to Utuku mm-hmm. uh, and so on, or Thomas Mafumo. Mm. And, and, and then you Katanisa with what we have today. Mm. Uh, you still feel that. That time, mm. people used to work a lot harder. They, yeah. they, they created more time to rehearse mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. And I think, yeah, they, yeah. So has technology assisted you in any way? Yeah, it, it, it does assist because I don't need to work harder in rehearsing. Mm-hmm. You know, if I, when I'm recording, I make a mistake. Mm-hmm. I usually record with mono. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I make a mistake, uh-huh. um, it cuts and then we start and it's easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Baba Nyati. Yeah, uh, I want to thank you so much for you know uh, this time. I've, I, I, actually, I had so many questions, but because of the, uh, of the time, but I want you to give us the poem, uh, and I want I want to tell those who are watching right now. This is the time. Uh, ah. Radio. This is time to log on to the Facebook page right now and see Baba Nyati doing okay, his thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they should go and buy the book. Anyway. Okay, let me do just a snippet. Uh-huh. There is my daughter, and then there is my son. So I'm yeah. going to do a snippet of my daughter. I'm okay. not sure I will have time for my son. Yeah, maybe you can do both. My daughter, when I demand that you be home before dark every day, I, my daughter, do not hate you, dear. I am merely trying to protect you from the jaws of the drooling hyenas that love to feast in the dark, from the panting leopards stalking you like ghosts, almost ready to leap at you, from the hungry lions silently eyeing you, smacking their lips, ready to pounce, from the jumpy, jumpy monkeys leaping from tree to tree and from branch to branch with no particular base. My dear daughter, tell me, what color is the chameleon? So... When I say be home before dark every day, I'm merely being dutiful as a father, man. I am doing what mothers should do. It is my duty to protect you from the black mambas that hate to miss a target. They all want to win your heart, dear. But remember, the python preys on its victim by changing colors. Oh, those rainbow colors? And the beautiful daughter, take heed. Darkness has no eyes. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah? Yeah, and my son. Yeah, my son. <laughs> well, I wrote that with uh, Ignatius Mavasa, my friend, uh-huh. and just a snippet. Yes, my son. Um, yeah, can I do it? Yeah, you take it away. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> my son, I am proud of you. Today, you have become a warrior, a warrior eager to explore the jungle with your sharp spear that never misses. But as you hunt. As you look around, never hunt baby animals. That is no manhood, my son. My son, as you walk and stalk and talk, never 
hunt animals you don't know. But even those that you know may be unpredictable, my son. Wow. <laughs> That's Babyat for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Obenyati, all the way from Kwanja. Wow, I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm inspired. <laughs> One day I'll become a poet. <laughs> so, how can people get in touch with you, Babyati? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, I have a, a, a Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they, they just check Albert Nyati. Albert Nyati. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, you are our legend. So, you know. <laughs> thank you very much. And by the way, I am the male motivator for the uh, National Zimbabwe National Family Planning mm -hmm. Council. And please, uh, let's look after our mothers yes. and our women and mm -hmm. our girls. Very true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. That was Baba Albert Nyati. My name is DJ Ola 7 Owen. We come on the program is called On the Spot, where we bring you all the you know public figures on this uh, program. Uh, you can catch this interview on my Facebook page at DJ Ola Seven, also on Star FM Facebook page, my YouTube channel as well at DJ Ola Seven. It is time for the news with Belinda Gomo.